Hey everybody and welcome to the Dragon Link decklist and the combo guide. Dragon Link is a, as the name suggests, a Link focused deck with uh, a couple, three actually, um, synchro monsters, which will usually end on a uh, Borload Savage Dragon and a Boral End Dragon. The deck revolves around a combo where uh, Rocket Tracer or a Rocket Recharger brings out Striker Dragon, which grabs Blood Sector Launch. We then go into Dragonity Romulus using a combo with Pisty and Striker Dragon and Dilingerious Dragon to get into Borderland Dragon and a Borderload Savage Dragon with two negates of uh, Romulus equipped to Savage Dragon. If we have more gas, let's say a uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon or a Quick Launch, we can also go into a Union Carrier equipping a Dragon Buster Destruction Sword to extra deck lock our opponent, which is very powerful. The deck overall is in and out of the meta, um, recently fallen out, but it's very strong still. Oral End Dragon has a, uh, has a ton of effects, can't be destroyed by battle card effect, can't be targeted, it can attack all monsters our opponents control, it has a you can't activate cards or effect in response to the, uh, the card's activations, and it can negate, permanently negate a monster on the field. So if we can set this up turn one, we can quite easily interrupt our opponent um, in their place. For example, if we face a uh, sword soul deck, we can uh, negate their Ecclesia before they pop it away to summon out like a Moje or something, and then keep the uh, Savage Dragon for the follow-up. But yeah, I'll go through the uh, card by card. Effect Veiler, it's a tuner, it's a negate, it's okay. Honestly, I prefer uh, impermanence, but uh, the tuner it can be useful in this deck. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, basically we only use this card to equip with Union Carrier. It is uh, one of the few garnets that we actually play in the deck, but uh, we don't uh, open it very often and uh, when we do, it's a level 1 tuner as well, so it's uh, not terrible. Rocket Synchron, this is our preferred level 1 tuner uh, to go into Hot Red, uh, Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend Abyss. Um, we can also use it in our combo to get into Romulus. Um, the effects isn't, it isn't used very often, really. Um, we can uh, special summon a monster from our graveyard, negate its effect and destroy it and uh, we are locked to dark monsters, which uh, happens a decent bit with the, uh, the rocket monsters. Maxi and Ash Blossom, of course, then White Dragon, Wyver Burster and Black Dragon Collab Serpent. These are our extenders for the deck. We can special summon them, blink them off and then search the uh, other one. So if we start with a Collab Serpent, we can grab the Wyver Burster, banish the Collab Serpent, and uh, yes, if also if we open Chaos Space, we can shuffle back the Collapse Serpent before we link off the Wyver Burster and get it back to hand. Rocket Tracer has a quick effect where we can target a card we control and special summon a rocket monster from our deck. Usually this will be destroying Boot Sector Launch to get out Rocket Recharger on the field for our combo. It also locks us to Dark Monster, so be aware of that, that we cannot do the Union Carrier extra deck lock if we use the Rocket Tracer effect. Rocket Red Charger is a vital part of the combo in this deck. If it is uh, sent with uh, the Lingerious Dragon combo, you'll see it later, we can summon it back and go plus from it. It's quite good. Star Lidge, we can uh, send this to from the field to deck to grab a Collapse Serpent and get our combo started. Then we can banish it to uh, put something back in our hand. Usually we can recycle like a Chaos Ruler or uh, something similar if we need it for combo. It's, it's decent. Absor Router Dragon is a, another extender. It is special summonable if we control a Rocket Monster and if it is sent to Grave, we can add a Rocket Monster from our deck to our hand. Usually this will be through Dragon Ravine, which we search with Romulus. And uh, once we do that, we can send uh, a Rocket Monster and grab like a Tracer or a Recharger, depending on what we need. Yes, Chaos Dragon Levianir can be uh, 
special summon, it is a extender. It can also it has some effects where we can destroy up to two cards on the field or shuffle back a uh, random card from our opponent's hand into the deck. This only light one basically never comes up. But yep, it's used for uh, combos. Uh, this one, the only dark one, is very annoying, basically making our opponent go minus, and we can use it to uh, link off into something else. Uh, darkness, uh, red eyes, darkness, metal dragon, basically fills a similar function to Levianir, where we can banish a fizz up uh, dragon monster to special summon it, and then we can special summon a dragon monster from our grave. Um, with this, if we have this when we end our combo, and we have a spare dragon on the field, we can easily go into Union Carry. Nibiru, um, I don't think it needs an introduction. It is a very iconic card. Lower Darkness for draw power, we play a lot of darks. Chaos Space, this one's actually really, really good. Because with it, we can send one of our, uh, like a Rocket Recharger, Rocket Tracer, and search out one of our uh, Collapse Serpents. You can also send uh, Seifert. And then, as I said before, we can shuffle back with the last effect down here um, to draw a card and also be able to cycle back the uh, Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. It is a vital part of the deck. Pot of Prosperity to draw um, Search if we get stuck. It's, it uh, pairs with a lot of Darkness for draw power. Boot Sector Launch is searched off a Striker Dragon and can special summon up to two Rocket Monsters with different names in our hand, so it can get us uh, extended. And if we go second, we can also special summon uh, any number of Rocket Monsters up to the monsters our opponent controls. It's, uh, again, a vital engine part and very good. Quick Launch. Uh, special summons a rocket monster from the deck. Basically, it's a starter or extender, depending on what we need. Followed by the grave, as usual. Cross out designator, same thing here. Forbidden droplet and uh, infinite impermanence. Pretty obvious cards, don't think I need to explain those. Alright, and that's going to wrap up the main deck. In the extra deck, we have the Borload Savage Dragon that I spoke about earlier. It is a negate. We equip a... Uh, Link monster from our grave and get negates corresponding to the link number. So this is a link two, so we get two negates and it's once per turn. Chaos Ruler is a draw power and also extender. It uh, excavates five cards and we can add a light or dark monster from our hand from those five cards. And then if it's in the graveyard, we can banish a light and a dark and bring it back. Uh, so you can pull it out, use the excavate effect, have a rocket synchron on board and go into hot red dragon arch in the abyss and then summon it back to potentially go into something else like a union carry. Hot red dragon arch fiend abyss is a negate, pretty much, that's what we use it for. It can uh, special summon a tuner but that very rarely comes up, mostly it's a negate. Pisty is a uh, part of our combo to go into Borland. It can special summon a uh, monster from our graveyard. Striker Dragon is also vitally important to the combo. We can add a boot sector launch on summon. And then we can target a face up monster you control and one rocket monster in your graveyard. Destroy that monster and if you do, add the other monster to the graveyard from the graveyard to your hand. So usually we pop the Lingerious Dragon and add a rocket recharger allowing us to re-summon the Lingerious and summon Recharger. Hurriatic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres is a bounce if we get stuck or get like super hand trapped. We can go into this and at least have some interaction on our opponent's turn. Romulus is again vitally important. It can add a Dragon Ravine to our hand on summon and has a secondary effect where we can summon a dragon or wind beast monster in our hand in defense position, but uh, negate it. It is if a dragon monster is special summoned from the extra deck to a zone this card points to. So if we link summon, we can also summon out more stuff and extend that way. Dillingerious dragon, again I just explained the rocket recharger, Dillingerious dragon, strike a dragon combo and you will see it in action later. Quad Boral um, can feel essentially the same spot as the Lingerious, but in different ways if we get interrupted. 
IP Mask Arena. Um, again, just a, a staple link. Union Carrier for Dragon Buster, Destruction Sword, uh, Extra Deck, Summon Lock, Nightmare Unicorn for uh, for climbing, Access Code for OTKs, and Boral End as our big boss, which I covered earlier. And that is going to wrap up the Extra Deck for the Dragon Link deck. I'll jump into some combo guides for you guys now. Hey everybody, so this is going to be the basic combo guide for Dragon Link. This time we started with Seifert, so we're gonna go Seifert, send it to Grave and confirm, giving us a, we can go basically anything here, but a Black Dragon Collab Serpent seems pretty good. Summon it out, banish the Seifert, going to Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon Effect. You can actually stack here depending on what you want to prioritize here. It doesn't really matter. The Boot Sector launch might be useful for a Rock Tracer of a quick launch. So we're going to be chaining one Striker Dragon, chaining two the Collapse Serpent. Then we already have a Wyvern Burster, so we can just go ahead and shuffle that bad boy back. Um, it doesn't really matter to go into Romulus. We don't need his search and we already have Dragon Ravine right here in hand. We can actually go ahead and activate Dragon Ravine to send uh, a Dragon Monster from the deck to Grave. We can send this Wyvern Burster because we already used it. And then Absa Router will activate to give us a Rocket Tracer to hand. All right, then we can go ahead and quick launch. Oh, Boot Sector launch, sorry, not Quick Launch. To Special Summon said uh, Rocket Tracer from hand. And then we can Quick Launch into a Recharger, because we need that for our combo. Could also pop the Boot Sector launch with Rocket Tracer, but would lock us into Darks, but since we have Romulus out, that doesn't really matter. Pisty. Always Pisty on the left. Very important. Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon always on the right. Also very important. So these arrows right here, they point towards each other, which means we can activate Pistis effect to summon in between them. We need to grab a rocket monster, also very important. Go into Dillingerius using the rocket monster and Pisti. Put that here. Strike a dragon effect, target Dillingerius, target Recharger, hop Dillingerius, Recharger goes to hand, Recharger activates, goes to grave, and then we can summon it back. And then Dillingerius will activate, allowing us to summon that back. And we go into a oral end dragon right here, activate its effect to negate our recharger and grab tracer back. And here we can actually do some fun stuff because we can go into, we can do this, pop boot sector, grab the synchron, go into a chaos ruler to see if we can't get ourselves some extension. We are now extra, de uh, extra deck locked to dark, so be mindful of that. Levianir, potentially, is a very good card here. Go ahead and grab that. And then we can synchro summon those off for Archfiend Abyss, which we will put in defense mode right here. Then we can summon back the Chaos Ruler, banishing a light and any dark really. Um, can take one of these tracers. Put that there. Probably should put it in the fence, honestly. But you know. Then we can Levineer, try to go for dark, dark, and dark. Uh, potentially we could keep those. Maybe we do this instead. 
go three dorks summon this guy in attack always because he doesn't have any defense and then we can steal a card from our opponent and then link these boys off for a IP Mascarena in case anything goes horribly wrong and then we can go into a uh, ah, I tossed the Nightmare Unicorn for a Pot of Prosperity but we could go into Nightmare Unicorn or a access code on the follow-up but yeah that is the basic combo guide for Dragon Link. If we didn't have the Rocket Synchron to go into Hot Red Dragon Arch Fin Abyss instead of going into the um, where is he? The Chaos Ruler, we would have gone into Borload Savage Dragon immediately and equipped Romulus from our grid. And that's gonna wrap uh, the basic combo guide up. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Comment if you wanna see any specific deck, any guide, anything, just let me know, I'll get it out there. And really, thank you for watching. It's so fun doing this and I'm so happy I'm seeing new subscribers every day, comments and likes, so much fun. I'll see you guys later, bye.